Hi, I'm Kamakshya Masnuru. I'm going to show you how to... Uh, one of the important methods while creating this uh, login systems in Zango is uh, passwords because... Uh, so in my last video actually I've shown you how to create a very simple login system using uh, base models as well as forms classes available from the Zango uh, libraries. Uh, actually Zango has got a very powerful as well as uh, uh, mind-blowing uh, alternative mechanisms uh, for you know, creating the login systems. One of the important requirements for the login system or maybe registration of the users. User registration is encryption and decryption. Encrypt and decrypt. So because the user uh, users normally uh, submit a lot of confidential information. One of the uh, I mean a uh, uh, few of the data variables uh, that were that was submitted by the users is the email as well as the password. So email is not a big, uh, I mean, secret, but whereas the password need to be a secret. So no user would, would like to um, make uh, his or her uh, password as, sec uh, I mean, open to the world because it all depends on the security. So uh, in Zango base uh, classes, we got a default set password you know the method which will uh, encrypt the password I mean submitted by the users and then that password even not visible to the administrator so in this video I'm just going to talk about some of the some of the base mechanisms in Python I'm just not going to talk about the Zango way because Zango has got encrypt decrypt uh, mechanisms defined well defined inside a uh, few of the libraries there are even functions but uh, I would like to show you how to uh, you know, understand the encryption first in uh, Python. Uh, for that, we need uh, a library called you know the cryptography. So, uh, I mean, let me tell you one more time. Like you know, I'm just going to give you uh, a demonstration as how to encrypt the passwords because in my video, in uh, uh, you know when I so in my previous video actually I have explained you how to create a a class for the registration and then use that uh, class for registering as well as logging um, uh, for users. Users can make use of this class. I mean, as a developer, I can use this class to provide a registration as well as logging, login uh, facility to my users. But the problem is the uh, password. So it is because I don't have uh, any, you know, strategy to encrypt or decrypt the password in my class. So in this uh, video, I'm going to show you, I'm going to deal with that particular. So for this, I'm going to use a library called cryptography. And now, actually, I didn't, uh, you know, I'm in the pip file, yeah. Pip, I need to, because I, I've been, uh, uh, I, I'm creating this, I'm developing this project uh, inside a virtual environment. So I need to, my base installation will not uh, be useful to me. So I need to install this. Uh, you know the package inside the virtual pip env install uh, crypt, crypto sorry cryptography so this uh, should be able to install the cryptography so if you are uh, not uh, I mean you can just even go to the certainly it will install I don't need to doubt about this pip will install the package cryptography and it will be ready forever so inside the now you see actually it, done, it did everything so here I just want to talk about how to encrypt or decrypt using the uh, you know cryptography package. Now from cryptography because I installed the cryptography in my base computer as well as inside the Zango project. Uh, there is a Fournet class. This is what we need. Import Fournet. So this is what is the class which we would like. So the first one is we need to define the key. So format uh, get I think get key generate key. So this is actually so it doesn't matter like you know a key is a key. But uh, now we need to make a Fernet class that is going to be Fernet. Uh, I think uh, when we use um, um, encrypt encrypt and stamp generate create decrypt. Uh, I think Fernet key, I guess. Key. That's it. Yeah. So now, so let me, you know, I create a sample text. This is just going to be, 
my secret okay and this is uh, let, let, let me think that this is just a kind of secret I mean it's my secret now how can I encrypt this okay so while the user submit uh, his or her information we need to so now what we can do is uh, maybe decrypted text is equal to format or maybe I can say encrypt there is a method called encrypt and now the text and then I should use encode so this is going to be dec txt this is now so nobody knows like you know, it is encrypted so nobody knows what is this secret is now now to decrypt actually that cannot be no we don't do this usually whenever user loses a password we don't decrypt and let him know that this is your password something like that that is actually not uh, advisable method that is not advised uh, we usually what do is we provide a particular uh, template for forgot password so that is actually the strategy but you know for uh, time being let me show you maybe like you know we can just uh, forego the decrypt uh, you know method and uh, provide a forgot password template to the user but in this cryptography actually the purpose of the cryptography is to retrieve the information so it has the mechanisms to read so if we wish to provide a decrypted message i mean the secret that is possible or if, we, if that is not the strategy enough in your uh, you know infrastructure and you can just forego that so now to decrypt it actually this is encrypt it cannot be a decrypt it can be an encrypt Enc, uh, you know text is this one now del uh, dec uh, txt so let me so now decrypt text is going to be for net uh, decrypt and then uh, n text please be cautious and then decode so we encoded it here so we need to decode that that is actually the logic so now dec text is going to be my secret so we'll get back so but actually this is most of the time we are not interested in decryption we just encrypt and keep it inside the server and uh, by chance if the user loses the password we'll uh, again provide a template for him to recover the password something like that it is not recovering actually forgot password something like that. so this is what is the strategy which i'm going to so now what we ne i need to do is from cryptography uh, for net so I install the crypto for net in for for net. Now I'll come back here. So define encrypt encrypt password. Okay, and then so, I'm sorry self self. Now <coughs> that password need to be encrypted. So whenever the <coughs> actually I should not. Okay, it's okay. Fine. Uh, encrypt password and then return I don't return here so what I need I need to do all that uh, strategy now key I need to uh, import I already imported so key is going to be for net uh, get uh, generate key and now for net is equal to uh, for net and then uh, now here I need to okay for net um, from the key okay and then uh, uh, encrypted ink password encrypted password is for net and then some sort of you know encrypt um, password this actually I have to password dot encode so here we need to pass an argument password so that password will be encoded now uh, then um, return uh, maybe I don't know, like you know the enc as word dot so. so where we need to do this that is actually the so cd dir no cd login system I think I didn't uh, yeah, already I'm in the virtual environment so your yeah, python manage dot py runs server okay so yeah i'm not in the virtual environment i think so i think i should be in the virtual pip yeah pip e and v shell yeah cd login system now python 
managed on py runs server. Okay, so now where do I need to use this 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 thing? So I have to go to the views. Okay, so soon after we get the password from the from the so we need to use that password because password is a password. Mm, I can use uh, you know the request dot uh, here I can use that. Uh, so I have that uh, registration form. Mm, no, I should use somewhere uh, if the user. No, so I need to use the password. Mm. No, I am extremely sorry actually. Yeah, it is possible. I not um, um, password. I don't know. Like, let me use a registration model. Mm. Yeah, it cannot be possible. Um, I'm extremely sorry. Actually, instead of using that there, uh, I want to carry on this here. So. It is better to move this to here. So um, I I don't want to define that as. Uh, so it is better to uh, that uh, you know actually uh, makes uh, sense. So because we it is not uh, a good thing to uh, user password now. We can come here and then use uh, n encrypt password. Encrypt. Uh, uh, yeah, here I should use okay, encrypt password and then password. Hey, hey, hey! Come on. So now the password is available, right? So this password just goes to. I'm extremely sorry, this is not the... I'm, I don't know what I'm doing actually, it is not... We can do this here. We need to... So we need to use this here. So I don't know, sometimes I do all this brainless activity. So when the user provides the password to the registration, in the registration page, there we need to use that uh, password. So password encrypt 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 password and then password so now the password goes to the uh, you know the uh, i mean uh, to, to to the model now we save this and when uh, when uh, and then i need to use a decrypt one also even i when i use the encrypt i should also use the decrypt yeah, now the decrypt is useful for us. So we call this as a decrypt password. So now, how do we need to do Fernet decrypt? Decrypt. And then uh, password. It is going to be the yeah, password. And then decode. So that's how this is just going to work. So we are encrypting it here, and then we are decrypting it here. So encryption for when 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 the user register, we are going to encrypt that encrypt password, and then we we provide that information to the we save that information in the in the model, and then when uh, when the user log in, so this password need to be decrypted. So now password. Actually, the password is not required here because we are using a decrypt decrypt uh, I don't know what is the decrypt password password okay now actually we don't need the password at all so what we need uh, okay we uh, no actually what happens is uh, we'll try to uh, full name and then we'll go for uh, you know password 
so user password is is equal to so actually he's not uh, he's just giving the password and we decrypt the password decrypt the password and uh, I don't know this should be it is not going to be user password is user um, I don't know user password and then uh, that needs to be decrypted user password is user password that is going to come from the database so let's see so user full name and then his password is let's see his password is that should be the password uh, user password that should be decrypted message which is coming from the user but not from the from the from the information which is uh, given by the user okay anyway we are we are actually retrieving the information of the user based on the email now that user must be having a password that is what we are just going to verify now at this point in time so let me take you to the <coughs> so how can we just uh, <coughs> excuse me I don't know. Let me go for the registration. Uh, I will make some kind of <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I call Kamakshaya Muzalaru and this should be unit, right? MK4 and then uh, email.com. Yeah, unique uh, encryption is in one position. Yeah, but so that is I fail to what is that? The self should be gone. I did a mistake. Mm. Password, 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 password. Fine. I think uh, now it is okay. So I don't know if I can go for okay now mk4 for at email.com and then comes the password here yes this is what now nobody knows what is only the application knows inside the application uh, the application knows what is the password and in database suppose if some hacker uh, so, suppose if the application is hacked and somebody is trying to retrieve the information from the from the database now the hacker will not have the information the password information of the password of the user so he will get this encrypted message the username will be there email will be there but even if it is possible we can also encrypt the email that is not a big thing so now the hackers will not have the chance to get the password okay so this is what uh, the information comes from the database so this is actually one of the utilities actually I thought I can do it uh, demonstrate from the model so no we can also do there is nothing uh, impossible I can even I can even uh, show you how to define the you know set password get password something like that but I don't want to waste the information so instead of uh, you know defining the method at the, at the registration model because if we have done everything as far as the uh, lo login system is concerned but uh, only shortcoming in this uh, approach in my approach is encryption and as well as decryption so there may be um, a problem like you know it is not always it is not professional to save the passwords as it is provided by the users actually there must be some kind of encryption encrypt encryption and decryption mechanisms encryption mechanisms Decry decryption we don't need to decrypt actually we will provide uh, forgot password uh, you know, service to the users and through that they can again reset and all everything so now it is possible uh, for us to make a, you know encrypt the password and uh, create a secret I mean we can maintain the secret in the system so thanks for watching this video stay tuned for the new content um, like my video and also subscribe to my video channel thanks once again